Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be part of Tamika over at Scrap the World's Off the Page 2020 YouTube Collab. Personally, I love creating 3D paper projects, so I dumped at the chance to be a part of this challenge. I've had this file sitting in my collection for quite some time, and I haven't really seen too many others attempt this file, so I figured it would be the perfect time to play with it. The SVG is from Simply Crafty, and I will link it below. I knew I wanted to create it with a bohemian twist, so I was able to get back to my mixed media roots when I was coming up how, with how to decorate it. When I was creating it, I just kept imagining this sitting in a fairy garden. It is a cute home decor piece, but also the roof comes off to create a box perfect for Happy Mail. I used the apricot honey papers from Prima, as well as 110 pound cardstock for the base. Let's take a closer look. First, I will zoom in on the porch of the gypsy wagon, which I also found out is called a Vardo. I guess you learn something new each day. The stairs and the railings were cut from 110 pound cardstock. I then embossed them with Tim Holtz peeled paint embossing powder. If you've never used it before, distress embossing powder has a gritty texture to it. When it dries, you can loosen some of the gritty texture and it will create a more mottled appearance. I thought it made it look like moss was growing on the paper. I used actual bagged moss as well. I wove some of the pieces into the railings and wove in some prima, prima vine flowers as well. The mushrooms are ceramic and used to be red, but I gave them a coat of distress embossing powder, this time using vintage photo. One of my favorite parts of this project is the sign that I created to decorate the front porch. I am a very avid reader and I got my love of reading at a very early age and I used some of my favorite books to inspire me to create this sign. It's one of the directional signs and it reads Whoville, Hogwarts, Neverland, and Hundred Acre Woods. I was so excited to create this. It's uh, just pieces of, of wood look paper that I inked with I think I used some of the walnut distress ink to make it look really old and aged and they're just glued onto a dowel that I also did with the same walnut distress ink as well. And of course, then again, you're going to see the same moss woven through. I just really liked the look of that moss throughout the entire project. So let's focus on the roof of the gypsy wagon. I used a bunch of moss that I had gotten in a mixed bag from Michael's. It had this really cool bark-like texture to it, and I did that all over the roof of this. You're also going to see some of the random flowers that I had just sitting in drawers. I bought nothing for this project. This was all stuff that I had. I actually did this project in the middle of quarantine, So, um, and I live in New York, so most of things were shut down at that time, so it really encouraged me to use what I had. Some of the vines are from the florals that you get in, you know, the big box retailers. I don't often buy the florals that are made specifically for scrapbooking just because it's so much cheaper to get the plastic ones and cut them down. You can see on this one that I actually had to cut the vine so that you could take the roof off and use it as a box. You can see where I actually cut the vine so that I could remove the roof from the wagon itself. This is another view of the side of the roof and you can see where I used some feathers and some of, I believe those are Prima leaves in the background of that spray. And these are some Petaloo flowers from my stash. Looking a little further down to the side of the wagon, you can see the windows, which I also trimmed in the Tim Holtz embossing powder. And it does give it a little extra strength and durability as well. I just used some banner die cuts uh, that I had cut out on my Sizzix using uh, paper from the collection and maybe some, some cardstock. This is the rear view of the gypsy wagon. You can see how I used vellum in the windows a little more clearly from this angle. I thought it was kind of cool that you could use this as a lantern slash home decor piece by adding some battery operated tea lights once you take out all of the goodies inside it. And once again, you can just see how I did uh, some moss around um, the sides here. I continued with the feathers. 
Um, I also created a little license plate for it and that's just made out of chipboard and once again I covered it with some embossing powder. I used the Walnut Distress from Tim Holtz again and then just added a little magic sticker on top. Now this is the back side of the gypsy wagon. It is a 3D project, so I made sure to decorate all four sides, but I didn't do the banners and, um, you know, I, I went a little easier on this side, as you can see. So this is what it looks like with the roof off. As you can see, it's, it's a pretty big project. Uh, the whole thing measures about 12 inches. It's just shy of 12, and it's about, eight inches tall with the roof on. Inside, you're gonna have about six inches of space and uh, about four inches in width to put all your goodies inside. I chose to do some rosettes. There was room for five different rosettes and I'll just let you see these on your own. I also created these bows from the Apricot Honey Collection, and this is a silhouette uh, triple bow SVG file that I used. So thank you so much for watching, and thank you again to Tamika for having me as her guest designer. I so enjoyed creating this project and working with you, and I really hope it encourages you to get out your Cricut or your Silhouette and get to crafting. I know these projects can be really intimidating, but I can guarantee when you start, you won't be able to stop. So if you like this video, make sure you like, stop on over to Tamika's channel and check out what she's done. And while you're at it, check out the other awesome guest designers that she's had each month. This has been such an amazing series. Definitely take a moment to check it out. For those of you that made it to the end of the video, I am doing a little giveaway on my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe to both mine and Tamika's channel in order to participate. And then just leave a comment below. I'll choose a winner on September 30th at the end of the month. It will be a $25 PayPal credit. Thanks for playing and thanks for watching. Bye.